How much are we paying to keep Hop- Hawkinson? <laughs> Lied looks similar to David and Joku's contract. Four year, I think it was what fifty six million, twenty eight million guaranteed. I think that's twenty eight million what's guaranteed. Be. Yeah, he's making like fourteen, fourteen plus million dollars a year. They over Cleveland completely overpaid paid for him, and it looks like whoever gets Hawkinson, us or anybody else, is going to have to do the same thing. So, yep. um, there's a lot of things Hawkinson needs to do, I think, to get reextended. But he could get extended before the season even starts. Who knows? We all know how contracts go. One goes up, and they can just yeah. continue to go up. That's just the way that's that it. it works, and uh, that's just how the NFL works. And it's just it bloated every single time, and then overpay, overpay, and then a few years later, it's looking like it's a deal. This is how it works. Who do you think wins the number three running back spot? Who do I think wins? Yeah. Oof. I want it to be Craig Reynolds. I feel like he deserves to win that number three spot. Honestly, I think he deserves to be the number two spot. I'm going to just go with yeah, Craig I Reynolds. Think, what do you think, Mark? Yeah, you know what? Um, I think, well, well, right now it's obviously Swift and, and Jamal Williams. Uh, that number three spot right now, I think um, it looks like it's between Jamar Jefferson and and Craig Reynolds. I'm kind of, I guess Jamar was getting a lot of looks today. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, just who, who's ever the best. It's the number three guy. Like, you know, I'm not too concerned. Whoever's most healthiest, whoever's the most productive in preseason and practice. So I think they're going to get a good look at Craig Reynolds and Jamar Jefferson. But, you know, I'll say Jamar Jefferson. I'll just be a little bit different than you, Mike. I'll just say something different. <laughs> Puck the Fackers comes from Woo! Themes for Dreams. I tried not to screw that up. Win the North, what do you say? I do think that the, the Puck the Fackers probably do win the NFC North. But let me know in the comment section, are you a fan of the Green Bay Packers? Put, you're a fan. If you're not, put FGB. That means F Green Bay. Let me know if you are a fan or you say FGB. Again, just keep posting questions. I will answer them as as much as I can. I got a thing here. If I miss it, just repost it. Does it help the Lions have so many key players that didn't show up for um, uh, OTAs? No, I I ain't too worried about that, Mark. No, no, I don't think so either, man. That happens a lot. You know, uh, they got Aaron Rodgers out there golfing with Josh Allen and Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, so nah. OTAs don't really mean too much, especially if it's voluntary. Dave's got a really hard question here. How much are we going to be paying Amani per year if we were to give him a contract extension? That's a difficult one because oh. he's not a top tier corner. I say he's, you know, 15 range, but you know you're going to have to overpay because that's what they do. Oh, man. What do you think per year you would give Amani a warrior? This one's a tough one. This one's a tough one, man. If you're going to extend him, um, I'm not too, too sure what he's making right now, but. You're probably going to end up paying him at least ten million a year, nine, yeah, eight, eight to ten million a year for the next three, four years. Um, especially if he becomes a number one guy, he might want even he he might even want 11. more. Yeah, if, if he's labeled a number one corner, but he's not going to get top five money. I don't think he deserves that. But the way this market goes, he could That's get it. The market. Yeah, That's I, the thing. It's the market. I'm just kind of hoping not. I'm kind of hoping not. Like maybe they go by by rankings, but that's not usually how they do it. So he could be making big, big money, man, coming up. But I but I think you have to lock up a guy like that, to tell you the truth. I'm just – I'm a little nervous about the money, but he deserves a pay raise, that's for sure. Lions fan 24. Hashtag Lions. I think Melifanu is going to step up as a number three cornerback this year because he was improving late last season when he was healthier from the injury. Look, I like what he's doing when he was yeah. on the field after the injury. I really did. I Thought he was stride for stride with the wide receiver. Extremely impressed with what he was doing. I know they're utilizing him right now at the safety position, but hell, I would like to see him out there. I really would. I don't know, you know, what the the form, you know, who's going to be one, two, three, exactly how it's going to be, because you got a lot of players yeah. in there. You got Jerry Jacobs, you got Melifonwu, you got Mike Hughes, you got Jeffrey Okuda, Amani Awarie, and all and Will Harris now at playing corner, so Who's going to be healthy? Who's not? But I look. I'd love it. I'd love it. So there's no a lot yeah. of FGBs in there. I love seeing yeah. that. Love seeing that. Yeah, yo, bad A says. Do you think the Lions stay healthy, especially from week ten to week eighteen? Do you think the Lions can make the playoffs and win the division? I hope they can stay somewhat healthy. Last year was 
awful. Absolutely awful. I actually don't have them making the playoffs. I have them winning seven to eight games, and I have the Packers winning the division. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, they know the question about staying healthy, man. All we can do is hope, man. We can't really predict if these guys are going to be healthy or not. Uh, we've had that, you know, the bad luck of guys getting of, of guys going down, but um, we can only hope and pray that these guys stay healthy for 17 weeks. As for winning division, you know, um, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Aaron Rodgers is, is still the Green Bay Packers quarterback, and um, do we have a shot at the playoffs? I personally don't think we really do. I do have this team winning six to nine games, so I'm uh, I'm kind of in between there. If if they get to nine games somehow, they could probably maybe possibly get that last wild card spot. But as of right now, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. No. no. Giovanni Close. says Romeo or Julian, who racks up the most sacks this year, if healthy, adds to Romeo Aquara. I got him getting the most sacks. Be interesting what even happened was Julian Aquara in all honesty. <laughs> Um, exactly. Well, who yeah. Do you got Mark? Romeo for sure. Yeah, Romeo. I got Romeo for sure. He's probably going to start opposite um, T.J. Hawkins. Um, T.J. Hawkins. He's going to start opposite Aiden Hutchinson. So um, I don't really see Romeo coming off the field too much. So yeah, Romeo for sure over his brother. Damn. Hashtag Lions is Hawkinson going to be the second option this year? If he is, how many touchdowns you think he gets? I don't know if he'll actually be the second option. It's going to be interesting mm. because there's so many wide receivers now. How many touchdowns? How about I say, I say get seven touchdowns, seven touchdowns. What do you got, Mark? Yeah, there's always an option that he could be the second guy off the, you know, like per targets. But I think that's going to be tough. Like Mike said, man, we added some wide receiver talent to this room. Um, and don't forget uh, Jamal Williams and um, DeAndre Swift can catch the ball in the backfield yep. too. So. Um, I don't know if he's going to be number two, maybe number four or something like that. But touchdowns, I'll say uh, he had like six last, six a couple years ago. I'll, I'll say eight touchdowns if he stays healthy. Got to stay healthy, though. Cody, hashtag lines. Will Fitzmatrick be the next player turned coach for Detroit and be our quarterback coach? Mm -hmm. No, we got Mark Brunel. And I, last I heard, Fitzpatrick is getting a deal with Amazon to call some football for them. They've been apparently yeah. getting every single person known to man through Amazon over there, and so that's the next person they got. That's a Chatting good hire. with like Bird him. Song. Hashtag Goff Super Bowl LA offense was not as good as Goff's offense in Detroit this year. Offensive line check, wide receiver, tight end group as a whole. Check Swift have a chance to be better than Todd Gurley if her O-line holds up. If her offensive line holds up, do you think DeAndre Swift could have a monster season and have a better season than Todd Gurley did in 2018? No, absolutely not, man. Todd Gurley was a was a was a man amongst boys. Um, he was an absolute beast for three, four years running. No, man, I don't think he's going to be as good as Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley was was special back then, man. Um, I think DeAndre Swift has got all the talent in the world, but he's not Todd Gurley, man. Not at Todd Gurley peak. No way. Can't do I'm, it. Man. I can't I'm going to say, say no, not even because of talents, because we do we have showed that it's running back by committee. And they don't, yeah. they don't change it up. They didn't change it last year. Now, if they do change it up, yeah. that'll be interesting. But that's what I've shown, what we've seen so far through this offense. But they seem to to hand the ball off to multiple running backs here. Hashtag Lions. Do you think the yeah. Lions will draft a quarterback in the 2023 NFL draft? Do I think so? Yes, I do think they do draft a quarterback. Mark, what do you think? I guess it all depends on what. Uh, goes on with Jared Goff this year um, from, you know, from what just going off the top of my head, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say they do at least if it's not a starter, it, it'll be some type of backup. We got 173 in the bill. Let's get to 100 likes. If you hit that like button, smash it right now. Let's get to 100 likes. Hey, he didn't say it in the first round. You're telling they have to get a quarterback in one through seven next year. If we come yeah, back with Tim sometime. Boyle and David Blau, I think I'm going to riot. If we is to do that three <laughs> years in a row, I will have a riot. I will go apex. <laughs> Hashtag Matt Patricia can see his own junk. If Shark has a big <laughs> year. <laughs> he cannot That's a good see one, it. Jack. Has a big one, year. Will he be Love able it. to afford to? Will we be able to afford to resign him? Yes, we have a lot of cap space yeah. uh, this next upcoming yeah. season. 
We have a ridiculous amount of cap space. And uh, yeah, isn't there's it like over a hundred million. Isn't it over a hundred million, Mike? Next year, it's, possibly. Yeah, if, depending on if depending you know, on some things. Yeah, with with cutting some players, um, potentially. Right. You they they have a ton of money. It's it's got to be up there as one of the best. So yes, they'll be able to re-sign him. Shifty's Forty Nine er Talk. Make sure you subscribe to Shifty's Forty Nine er Talk. Got a good channel over there. I appreciated uh, him coming in here, hanging out. Live, love it, man. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. How is golf doing in OTAs? Eh, okay. Uh, kind of what you expect okay. right now. I'm not going to say horrible because you expect the defense to be a little bit ahead, but I'm not going to say great like he's Tom Brady or something. But uh, at least he's not Tim Boyle because he's been doing it. Absolute cheeks over there. Mm -hmm. Will we use Hawk like Gronk this season? Probably not. Oh. Probably not. Uh, probably no. not. I'm going to say no because so we have a lot that. of weapons. Like, the weapons is galore. You got to be able to, like, got, I mean, every, but someone's got to get a touch. Let's got see. Of offense is check as good as offense. Oh, I already did this one here. Don't want to double quick it there. Who yeah. gets the most targets this year if everybody is healthy? I'll say Amon Ross St. Brown gets the most targets. I'm going to go with Amon Ross St. Brown. A great chemistry. He is an option for Jared Goff for sure. Who do you got, Mark? And every time I check in to see what's going on with these guys, and I, and, and I have to do it, you know, because I'm a YouTuber and I, I love my Lions, I just keep, I keep reading and keep seeing that the chemistry between Goff and Chark is – is a real thing. I guess they had a really nice day today again. Um, he's looking for him a lot, and um, he's a speedster. You know, he can run routes. He can get up and get the ball if he has to. He, he's a new face, and I think he got his speed demon right now. You know, we got another one in Jameson Williams, but I'm going to say Chark, man. I'm, I think Chark's going to lead it right now. I mean, that's my early early June prediction. It could change. Like, I uh, change my mind every every other day, but I'm going to say Chark. 